But let's come to reality today because it's just like Election Day back in 2016. The fake news was replaced by reality. Here, let me read to you from the four-page summary of the Mueller report that was released by Bill Barr yesterday. The entire report itself has not been fully released because it contains confidential legal matters currently before the courts in some cases that have to be redacted. The memo itself explains why, but let me read you the cold, hard truth as published yesterday. The special counsel and his staff thoroughly investigated allegations that members of the presidential campaign of Donald J. Trump and others associated with it conspired with the Russian government in its efforts to interfere in the 2016 U.S. presidential election or sought to obstruct the related federal investigations. In the, in the report, the special counsel noted that in completing his investigation, get this, he employed 19 lawyers who were assisted by a team of approximately 40 FBI agents, intelligence analysts, forensic accountants, and other professional staff. The special counsel issued more than 2,800 subpoenas, executed nearly 500 search warrants, obtained more than 230 orders for communication records, issued almost 50 orders authorizing use of pen registers, made 13 requests to foreign governments for evidence, and interviewed approximately five hundred witnesses. So there were 60 people working on this full time for two years. 2,800 subpoenas, 500 search warrants. Where's the 500 witnesses? Pen registers, by the way, that's, that's tracking every phone call made or received on a cell phone or other similar communication stuff. 500 witnesses, 500. And, and they found nothing. Again, this is just a four-page summary of the findings. Barr says he will likely release more and is still reviewing the full report. And of course, some matters must be redacted, but he quoted this word for word from Mueller's report. He said, as the report states, the investigation did not establish that members of the Trump campaign conspired or coordinated with the Russian government in its election interference activities, unquote. Nothing. It's just not there. In fact, more than that, the investigation found that Russia did, in fact, try to hook up with Trump's campaign in some way. But the offers were rejected by Trump or his staff. So they were tested morally and they passed the test. Let me quote, the special counsel did not find that the Trump campaign or anyone associated with it conspired or coordinated with the Russian government in these efforts. Despite multiple offers from Russian affiliated individuals to assist the Trump campaign. Wow. Hey, do you think Hillary Clinton has ever turned down an offer of help, especially from foreign sources? Well, we know she in fact did accept help from foreign sources. Just for example, $25 million from the Saudis, tens of millions of dollars from other entities, from Russia, from the Middle East, from around the world. These are donations to their, quote, family charity, the Clinton Foundation. While Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State, her family foundation, run by her husband and her daughter, rinsed foreign governments and lobbyists for hundreds of millions of dollars. Trump, he actually said no. That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. Every day, I do a video monologue, and then I interview an interesting guest, and then I end by reading my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at therebel.media slash shows.